Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon and or evening. My name is Neelay Patel. I'm the owner, designer, and educator at Silver Silk and More. And I want to welcome you to my channel. This week has been epic. This has been my Choose Your Own Adventure Workshop Week, which we have come a long way. This has sort of been our roadmap. We started off Monday with the Wild Rock Necklace, and here we are at our very last class. I am deeply saddened that this is our last class because it was quite the week. Um, really, truly just went in the blink of an eye, didn't it? For those of you who have been tuning in for all the videos, I just want to say a giant thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, and if you're tuning in whenever you're available to um, over on the YouTube channel, you can catch all of these different workshops that have aired already. Um, but it's been such an adventure and I'm just delighted to bring you at least one last fun project that I have no idea what I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna make it on the spot. And um, I'm gonna use components from our Great Barrier Mystery Kit. This is the mini version. So earlier we opened the larger version uh, or in a previous video and we went through all the different components and i actually got to assemble a lovely design for you guys on the spot was it nerve-wracking absolutely was the result something that i stand behind absolutely um i just was so delighted to kind of concoct this idea from nothing and um i think this is a true testament to the spirit of silver silk but also what you guys can do because um, certainly if I can do it, I know <laughs> in my heart of hearts that you have the ability to as well to be inspired and um, conjure up some of those familiar techniques and to apply it into a design, um, be it on the spot or just thinking about it. I also appreciate for those of you who have been um, posting in our Silver Silk Silkies Facebook group, thank you um, for sharing your work first and foremost. And you guys are inspiring not only... Um, and, and growing that community, but you're inspiring each other to create. Um, I think we live now at a day and age where that's important and keeping the craft and the spirit of crafting alive is truly um, just one of those things that we don't think about, but we need to keep it up. Um, so uh, I do my part, hopefully, to keep you guys inspired and um, ask that you guys will also, uh, if you have time to just post some of your designs there and show us what you're working on. We're curious, we wanna ooh and ah just as much as uh, everybody else. So um, we invite you to do that. All right, so a couple of quick announcements. You can head over to silversilkonline.com. Today is the last day for our clearance sale. After today, all of that inventory is going to go out um, and it is, there will be no more clearance tab there. So. Today's really the last day you can catch it. If you spend 85 or over, if you've got it in cart and um, purchase, you will be automatically qualified today only to receive a Silver Silk Remnants grab bag. So now that I've done my sales pitch, um, why don't we just get into today's project? <laughs> can you tell the sales thing is just not my thing, but I love the creative part of what I do. All right, so I'm going to open up the mini mystery kit. Um, I will say some hellos and some um, and answer some questions at the end of the show, by the way. So I just want to make sure that we get into our creative mode here as we're talking about it. So um, the Great Barrier Mystery Kit, this is the inspiration that I read earlier in a previous video. But it's inspired by the large coral reef system of the Great Barrier Reef. Um, very colorful, very inspiring, just a wonderful nod this kit will be to that, um, those aspects. And uh, I love sea life. I love everything about it. The ocean, it brings me so much joy and it brings me so much um, creative liber, like it just liberates me creatively. Creativity, creative, you know what I mean? <laughs> Creatively liberating. I think that's what I was trying to say. Um, so I wanted to take all of those attributes and apply it to a kit, right? So came up with a color palette and threw a few materials together, as you can see on the backside of this um, little insert. And whoops, I'll just get right into the materials as we're talking about them. So this is the artwork that you will receive whenever you do get your kit. Um, it gives sort of a picture of what inspired me to put this kit together. 
and a rough idea of the color palette that I wanted to include. Um, and if you picked up the larger kit, and it, unfortunately the larger one is sold out, and I think this one is too at this point, because um, I had several folks asking about it and wrapping it. Um, this, since it is a miniature kit, has less components, but that doesn't mean that the level and the imagination can't run wild um, at this point either. So let me go through some of these materials and we'll talk about designing something together. So I've included in this kit, see, this is the shoreline, excuse me, the shoreline. I was about to say seafoam, but that's not true. The shoreline color capture chain. What makes it this color is the gunmetal ball chain that runs through it with the seafoam color wire on top. Um, it's got a really nice, I think just a metallic dark hue to something that would be normally bright and blue. Um, but this is a great complement to the pendant, which is a ceramic pendant. Um, and I think it works well with those colors and really just helps to highlight some of the blues and teals that are in the pendant as well. So I'm looking forward to using that or those two materials. I've also included in this miniature kit some, some basic elements that represent the sea, right? So we've got pearls and we've got these really cool um, ceramic beads. They kind of remind me of like sea urchin minus the spikes, but I really do enjoy the pattern and um, the distressed kind of, uh, I guess, paint since they're ceramic. Um, that is applied on here. And again, just another color complement to what's happening with this, um, with the silver silk chain. So uh, again, I mentioned the pearls, which we'll do there. This is the Captain Bamboo um, beads. And let's see if I'm getting that name correct. Captain Island Bamboo Shell. So that's named down here. These were actually created, these beads, from uh, one of my friends who's a vendor, his name is Oscar and he is in the Philippines and him and his family create these beads. And um, I was delighted that I get to support his family, but also, I mean, could you have an ocean themed kit without something that is authentically um, from the ocean and is gorgeous? So I love this. This is absolutely stunning and um, delighted that I could carry it within the kit. Uh, I remember talking about these pearls in an earlier video and just love these little guys. <laughs> I don't know why, but they make me laugh. I think it's because it's just, it's like a funny concept that like, I, I don't know, that there's just a pearl in an open climb. I don't know why that is. It just brings me happiness. Um, and I hope it does to you guys too. But I just love these. They're just quirky. Um, we've got some starfish. That could be used in earrings or as accent pieces. Um, I really should have a bead tray at this point, but I haven't made one yet. Uh, <laughs> the one that Teresa gave me, one of uh, well, my brand ambassador um, gifted me a bead dish. Um, what was it last winter? I think Teresa. So, uh, but that's kind of full of beads right now. So, <laughs> it's not that I don't use it; it's in full use. Okay, we got some turtles. We used this in our project earlier today. Love these little connectors. They're just so smart and adorable, if I do say so myself. Um, and of course, some um, sea seahorses, which are, we got a pair here. There we go. And I didn't use a lot of the elements um, from, I didn't use all of my elements from the previous kit. So if you bought two of them at the time that they were both out, you can use both of them for this design. Um, if you've got any leftover, that is. So this is my... Uh, three by five gem cut beads. These are in a opal color, which is this milky white, absolutely stunning. Love this. Um, I love that that translucent quality really does to me portray water and um, that clarity that water has, especially when it's hitting the shore and you get those nice little foam bits that come out of the sea. I, I just love it. And then um, this is the fire polish in the ocean uh, blue luster five millimeter. We use these earlier as well. Just love these. I love the color so much. They look very just high grade um, check glass beads and match beautifully with the pendant as well as our seafoam. Um, well, 
shoreline, I should use the proper names here, the shoreline capture chain. The seafoam capture chain has a silver ball chain running through it, just FYI. So I, I end up like <laughs> changing those. Um, okay, so I include some craft wire. This is a full three foot spool of soft flex pewter color um, craft wire in 22 gauge. 22, I feel, is the most versatile. It's thick, um, and so it's got a really good hold on beads, but it's also thin, so it's easy to use wire wrap and do whatever you want to to manipulate it. Um, I got a pair of earring wires in case you want to create some earrings, and then I have got a pair of um, end caps. These are my custom end caps in dark rhodium, and these have a channel inside, uh, teeth inside of its channel, so that those teeth grasp onto the ball chain. Um, so whenever we're ready to crimp, it will kind of just hold everything together onto our chain. So, you know what guys, I haven't made a lariat in a long time. And I think, I think that design's kind of calling to me. I don't know about you guys, but it sure is to me. So kind of in a lariat mood, let's, let's do this. Let's make a lariat tonight. All right, I'm gonna move some of these things off to the side here, hoping that it will stay put and not roll too much over my table. Um, I just want to keep stuff organized. I do love a lariat design. It's so easy to make with this particular kit. Um, it will be, to me, a no-brainer almost. Um, and just such an easy an accessory, an easy accessory to put on, excuse me. So I'm going to just go ahead and give myself a little knot here. The rest of this will be used for just throwing over my neck. And I'm um, just gonna create a little knot there. So at the ends of both of these, I want to open up the end cap just a little bit with my tapered chain nose pliers. Okay, and I wanna go ahead and attach them. So all I have to do is just insert it into the end cap, as you can see here. I'm going to hold it with my fingers and I'm going to grab my wide nose pliers. They've been dipped in a product called Tool Magic and Tool Magic makes them rubberized. So whenever I press down on my wide nose end caps, and you may even use your chain nose um, if it's dipped uh, as well in Tool Magic, gives it a rubberized coating so that it's not going to create any nicks or cuts within my end cap, keeps it nice and polished. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and attach them to both. Oh, and I've got a little bit of wire sticking out here. So I'm gonna trim that back with something. <laughs> Maybe I don't. I really thought I had my cutters here somewhere, but I guess I don't. So, and I actually kind of do need them now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so let me go grab a pair of cutters. <laughs> you think I'd be prepared up to this point, but, uh... Ah, here we are. Okay, I was like, where did they disappear to? So this is just part of the bloopers, right? I'm not even gonna edit this out. It's just gonna be part of the video. So I got my cutters. I'm gonna trim that right back and I am going to attach my next end cap. Okay, there we go. Brilliant. So I'm going to use my wire now to put everything together. Um, I just have to do this, I'm sorry. But you know what, I've been dying to make earrings out of these and um, I just really wanna put these onto my earring hook here just cause they're so cool and I must have them finished. <laughs> I think whenever I first looked at these and thought, man, those should be made into little earrings, I just can't help myself. I'm going to just indulge here. I do this correctly. Yes. Okay. There, I've made a simple pair of earrings and I'm not even mad about them. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's configure a design that I think will be kind of fun and easy here. So maybe we do that, that, a pearl. At the end, we do a Captain Island bamboo. So we do four components and maybe a little starfish down here. On this one, maybe we switch things up. Maybe we do a pearl, sea turtle, 
and Captain Island Bamboo, followed by a different type of sea creature. So you see how I just kind of did that on the spot, and it looks just really cool and e eclectic, really. So I'm going to go with this. It's easy. It's fun. And um, all we have to do is just kind of attach stuff with some links here. So let's get to it. I'm going to save my bead strands for something else. I could go back and embellish if I want to with them. Um, and in fact, I think I've got an open package of each of those. So what I could do, because this is my package from earlier, is grab some of those beads that are in the kit so I don't have to break another strand. There we go. And maybe we throw a couple of those in just for spacers. Maybe they go on the tops and bottoms of that Captain Island bamboo, just to draw that blue color down a little bit. So all I'm doing is just gonna do a series of wrapped loops here. And I realized I probably should have attached that together, but that's okay, we can do it on the next one. Um, if you are wanting to know how to do the wire wrap loops, you can find the full explanation in the other Great Barrier Mystery Reef um, kit video. And there I do the full explanation on how to create the best loops possible. Now, I will say that those porcelain beads have a slightly larger hole. So what I'm going to do is add a white bead, the little gem cut pieces that we can get from our bead strand that's included, in before and after our porcelain bead. So not only will this add color, but this will also prevent our loop from falling through. Whoops. As you can see, it kind of stops right there, extends that link nice and long, and we can just continue making our loop. I am going to work from the full spool of our wire here. Okay, we've got some beads rolling. So that's that was going to be a thing, wasn't it? <laughs> that's okay. We'll make the links and then kind of reassemble it from there. Um, and I'm going to grab my round nose pliers and work this all the way around. If working off the full spool does become a little bit tricky for you guys, um, you could definitely cut the wire down into pieces if you want to. Um, I tend to work off of the full thing just to help save and conserve some wire. I feel like I've got plenty to work with anyway, though. Oh, and again, I was supposed to connect that to that, but I didn't. Whoopsie. Um, let's continue. Maybe we switch a few things around now then. There we go. Improvise, right? So we maybe we put our pearl at the top instead. Aha. All right. So before I complete my loop here, I'm going to attach it onto the end cap so I don't forget. <laughs> How many of us truly have done that, though? Really? Like, we've all done that. We've all forgotten to attach our thing to our thing and then had to remake it, right? Okay. There we go. And now I'm going to string on the pearl this time. Okay, there we go. Oh, that is so pretty. I mean, just even the pearl by itself. But I took a break, a long break from pearls for a little while, and then finally just kind of got back into it um, here recently. It's it's a trend. Um, and to those of you who are unsure about what the trend is, you can actually tune into the Great Beat Extravaganza group. And there we are actually producing our own trend report um, where you can learn what is currently in fashion and what um, what you might have in your own inventory. Plus, actually, I guess I don't need to attach anything, where you can shop for items that are on trend. And pearls are definitely one of those things. Ah, there we are. That is currently in trend. I feel like it's a very summer easy bead to include um, because of weddings and 
occasions and um I don't know. It's one of those materials that's never truly going to go out of style anyways. It might go in and out of fashion, but I think just depending on its application, you can definitely keep it well stocked and usable for throughout whenever you want to use it again. So um, I was delighted that I got to use it in this one at least and represent the C with a pearl. Okay, we've got that. We've got that. So I'm going to attach this here. And uh, I think I'm gonna put a bead down there just cause I won't be able to now attach anything to this one. <laughs> That's okay though, opportunities for beads, right? That's an important thing is whenever you make a um, improv decision there, uh, we're just going to a happy accident, if you will, it gives us an opportunity to create something else out of it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and create that chain. And I'm going to string our, well, and this particular ceramic bead has a gigantic hole running through it. So what I think I'm going to do is include some beads before and after it. And since I have plenty of those blue beads, um, I think, now is a good time to use some of those up from the strands. So here we go. Use one of those. Use one of these. Or do I? Yeah, I do the blue because I've done the white already. So I'm going to do that. Woo. Okay. Oh, pretty. Okay. So again, this is where I remind myself because I'm with you guys right now <laughs> that I won't be closing the loop until I attach my um, link onto this chain. I think this large wire is truly throwing me off my game here. So I'm going to actually just cut it in half. And that way I have enough for the next design as well, um, or the next, um, part of my lariat there too. And also it's just, it is kind of like, I don't know if I'm off camera, I think it's easier for me to use cause I'm not having to deal with it and hitting everything. <laughs> um, but since we're here, I might as well just trim it. Much easier. Okay, I'm just going to wrap that right around. And trim it here. Go. Brilliant. Oops, start my wire. Okay. That looks beautiful. So um, I had mentioned, oh, you know what I didn't attach was this guy. So maybe we put our Captain Island bamboo down there and attach it with our starfish component. I just love this so much. It's so fun and eclectic and has all of the elements that I could appreciate on it. So you know what I'm gonna do is create my wire wrap loop on one end. I'm not going to close it. I'm giving myself a verbal reminder to not close it. <laughs> okay, grab my chain nose pliers and work it around. Now I am using all of the materials from the kit exclusively. So I think part of my personal challenge for this was to show you guys that you potentially don't need any additional materials outside of the kit to um, create with this. But if you wanted to use up some of your own personal stash um, and not hoard those beads for too long, you can definitely combine your personal materials in with this design or um, techniques. So for example, if you wanted to use bead stringing wire, do not be afraid. Um, there's plenty of components here to work with that would add a beautiful extension to your design aesthetic just with using um, a different stringing method or whatnot. Didn't even have to give myself a verbal reminder that time. <laughs> OK. 
chain, got my chain now, let's do this. Oh, so cute. Okay, one side done, let's do the other one. I might not make this one as long, um, but I certainly can kind of plan this out. Maybe we do a pearl. My pearls are too close together, so I don't know if I want to do that now. Um, let's see, maybe we do this one. And you know what? I have two C, uh, what is it, uh, little C stars, so we might as well try and use both of them up maybe. And maybe, well, we could move these around. I don't know, that kind of works too. They're, the elements are far enough apart. And I do like that symmetry, uh, the asymmetry of that. So maybe that's what we're working with here. If we wanted to extend it, then I could definitely do this down here, the pearl. Um, but I'm kind of just enjoying the short length of this, I think, just works for me. And I can use those pearls for something else because I've got two left over. Okay, let's go with this and see where it comes up as. So again, um, our porcelain bead has a larger hole. So I'm going to make sure that I, first of all, attach this to our end cap. Because <laughs> I know I would forget to do that if I didn't say it out loud. Um, and then I'm going to put some beads on both both sides there. So let's do this. Okay. And then we'll do a white bead, a porcelain bead. I mean, you could kind of see the size of that hole. That simple loop or the wire wrap loop, excuse me, would just go right through it. So it would not work that way. Um, so we definitely need the beads there. So it's a good thing to have those extra little beads in there. Um, and then now we just create another wire wrap loop. So let's do this. Work that around. I love how much our silver silk can elevate our design um, and really just make it so sophisticated looking. Wire is much easier to use when you don't have a camera right next to your hands. <laughs> How many of you guys feel this way? <laughs> okay. Ah, you know what I forgot to do was attach my turtle. Dang it. Because that turtle was supposed to go there. Didn't give myself that reminder. So um, what do we do but improvise, right? So let's stick another bead up here after all. Maybe we do the Captain Island bamboo and then we do the turtle followed by this sort of a format. I want my sea turtle in there so badly. Okay, so don't let me forget you guys. Uh, let's do this. Get ourselves a good little wrap here. I love using Softlex craft wire. It is so soft on my hands and so malleable and easy to use. Um, just really, just really does everything for me. Okay. Straighten this out. The Captain Island bamboo beads are hollow, so you kind of have to have a very straight wire to be able to poke it right through. Okay, um, once again, you know what I didn't do was attach it, but at this point I can do this and I'm going to not talk too much and get this correct. <laughs> Forgot to do that. 
always forget. I'm not improvising anymore, though. I'm going to do this correctly. Okay, and I have to attach it on the next side. There we go. Don't forget to attach. Don't forget to attach. Just giving myself some mental reminders here. Hey, Nile, don't forget to attach. Got it. <laughs> there we go. All right, I've got stuff attached finally, and I can add my pearl, but I can't forget to attach those things too. I've got so much wire to work with, though, truly, because even if I split it in half and did this sort of a design, I'll still have enough left over. Oh, if I wanted to make another pair of earrings later or something else, I can use my wire to um, make that happen. Let me get this kind of configured here. Because there is a right side and a wrong side to that turtle. So I kind of want to make sure that it's faced in the correct position. So now at this point, I can put in my pearl and then my seahorse, uh, starfish. But um, I want to kind of add a little bit more color. So what I think I'm going to do is add some more blue beads there at the bottom. Um, but don't forget to connect it to your components. So if I didn't, if I didn't remind myself, you guys, would have kept making some simple, some wire wrap loops here. Okay, there we go. And we'll just sprinkle some beads in there on top of our pearl. You could even use some extra wire to wire wrap that pearl, which would add a little bit of extra pizzazz to it, I think. In this case, just to make it match the other end, I'm going to leave it as is. Okay, and I cannot forget to attach my component to it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just slide in my starfish. And do some wire wrapping action down here. If I wanted to use the leftover wire to create some bobbles, I could definitely do that too. So maybe we do a quick one with the seahorse since we've got some extra time here. Oh, beautiful though, right? Like it just is an easy design to make and adorn and appreciate. Why well, I want that lay flat. There we go. <laughs> so since we have some extra moments here, I'm thinking that it would be fun to make a little attached um, thing to our, our lariat there. So, and also what I want to do is make sure that the star is facing the correct is the correct way here direction so i'm going to twist this around and it should be on the same side as your uh, as your sea turtle there so what if we created another quick little wire wrap loop just a, a little bitty baby one and i'm going to offset this piece from this piece uh, just a little bit or we can make the match, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect my star, my uh, seahorse to that. And then what I'm gonna do is maybe add a couple of beads to create a little dangly charm, since I have all these wonderful beads and components still. So maybe it's, um, maybe it's this blue bead. And then we can attach it to our component there and just kind of have them off to the side. So more sea creatures, uh, I think, would just make this really fun. And let's do another 
wire wrap to loop. And heck, we might do one on the other side. I don't know. We could even use our pearl clams there if we wanted to. Um, but before I forget, I want to make sure that I do <laughs> attach this to this before I finish out my loop. go. So now I'll just grasp it with my chain nose pliers and create my wire wrap loop. Brilliant. I really enjoy this pewter color wire. I thought it would be a little too dark and rustic looking, but actually I enjoy that patina aspect about it. And it gives it that, I don't know, that sort of organic color that it needs to represent something from the ocean. Ah, cute. I've got a little like, extra with my charm down there. And um, this one's just different enough, right? With our arrangement of beads. So I really love this design. I think I'm going to, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. And I've got all these beads over here that I used earlier. So let me clean those up. I'm going to put my necklace on because I'm so proud of it. And you guys can see how cool it looks in person and um, on a person. <laughs> okay. Ah, look at that. I'm gonna switch this around real quick. So this is what my design looks like. Very much sea theme and inspired. <laughs> I enjoyed so much making that on the fly. Can you believe it? Uh, so I am actually going to go back through and read some of these comments and questions. Look at that. I just moved my knot a little bit up. But you can definitely stagger this as much as you want to and really have it just kind of dangle anywhere. And it just kind of lays beautifully. I really love it. I like longer necklace designs personally too, um, whether I wear it or whether um, I'm trying to design for someone else. I'll put my earrings down here. My earrings that took literally no time to make. <laughs> and sometimes instant gratification is not a bad thing. I always have fun with that too. I just love these little guys by themselves. So, All right, I should quit yammering and let you guys speak too. So Cindy uh, says, Fabulous, so creative. Thank you. I appreciate that, Cindy. Miss Gail Lauder made it to our class. Of course, can't have a class without her. Love your new necklace, Delay. Very cool. Thank you, Gail. Miss Daniel Wicks. We got to talk, girlfriend, because uh, we need to do another class together. <laughs> I thought he was a model. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, I'm just having a, a reasonably good hair day, I suppose. So It doesn't usually do this flippy thing. Um, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm scrolling through some questions. Hi, Becky. She says, I have a mirror shell, a looking shell pendant that I think would be great with one of those charms. Absolutely. Um, I want to see that, actually. That sounds really cool. Uh, Sherry says, fabulous class all week. Thank you, Neela. Thank you, guys. Um, I feel like we all indulge each other in our crazy um, learning classroom fun antics and silver silking, don't we? <laughs> oh, uh, Bonnie is asking, can you tie knots in the pearlesque chain too? I would say beyond this, not so much. No pun intended. Um, yeah, this is, it's a very like robust chain. So while it is flexible, um, you can't really, you can't really tie a knot with it and have it hold for too long because it's gonna wanna kind of bow back out. But that's a good question. See, oh, Kim says, uh, hi, Kim, ordered mine today. Wow, thank you. I appreciate you guys supporting the store so much. Um, you guys are so awesome. Teresa and Greta are in the house. Love the special beads. I should have bought the larger kit when it was available. Yeah, those things just like flew off the shelf, um, I think minutes after I announced it. Now, if you're not on my Silver Silk texting group, you need to be because these people hear about all of the stuff that I've put out before my big e-blast and all of that stuff goes out. Um, 
this little texting group is is like the core hard like die hard silver silk people that um want to know all the stuff ahead of time before anybody else knows so it's a good place to sign up and you'll hear from either me or joan um who is assisting me on the back end y'all give some snaps for miss joan dice please she is an incredible woman has helped me out all week and um, I literally just can't do anything. Uh, my brain won't function without her at my side. <laughs> uh, oh, in uh, reference to the silver silk wire that I was talking about earlier, uh, excuse me, the Softflex craft wire. I agree with you about the wire. Um, so I feel like we've got another Softflex fan in the house that um, enjoys the wire as much as I do. All right. Oh, Cindy is asking a great question. When you dip in tool magic, how long does it take to dry? 24 hours. What I do is I dip it once, let it dry overnight. It'll have a pretty good coating on it, but then I do a second round of it. So the pliers that I showed you have actually two to three rounds of tool magic. I think this one actually has two. You can kind of see where I've dipped it twice. Um, there's a very like obvious um, little marking there where you could see it was dipped twice. So yeah, I would do two coats of it and let them dry over two nights. <laughs> Anastasia says, where is your bead mat? I know I'm such a bad boy. Um, I need to, I need to do a proper bead mat, but I kind of like the wooden table too. It serves as a nice um, backdrop. Hi, Marianne Doy and her sister-in-law, Miss Dav, are always um, in for a silver soap video. So aloha to you ladies. It's dry here. Uh, dry, it's dry heat here in Arizona, and it's pretty much the same here where I'm at in Oklahoma, too. Terrible. Um, very hot, so I hope you guys are staying cool. Ah, Trish uh, is saying that uh, I wish I would have grabbed a few of the kits, maybe, and should have gotten more or wait for the grab bags. The grab bags, if you order 85 or over in store today only, you get a grab bag for free. Um, just FYI. I'm just seeing if there are any more questions that I can answer. <laughs> Sarah said, I think we got Sarah hooked on silver silk. So I placed an order this morning for more stuff off clearance, the TGBE kit and a few other items. I promise Sarah, you will not be disappointed. Um, and sometimes I pack in some extra stuff for my silkies to create with. I like to be sneaky like that, right? Oh, Kim says, I can I just say the text messages are the best. I never miss a video or these uh, with these reminders. So thanks, Kim. And if you guys do ask a question in my text group, I generally do get back to it. Um, and you'll hear directly from me. All right. Oh, Sarah says, I love your products. Mimi uh, from Jupiter, Florida says, it's wet heat. <laughs> Jupiter, <laughs> wet heat. So I take it because that's of the ocean. That's the center next to the ocean, right? <laughs> uh, although I don't know which sounds does I get. I would prefer wet heat personally. The dry heat kills me. It's like it's it makes it even more hot than it should be. But then there's also humidity. So I don't know. I guess they're never really that great. But I generally love summer, and I don't mind the heat personally. I know there's some folks out there that do not love it. So. Um, I'm just going to say, like, thank you guys so much for joining in this entire week. I've had so much fun. We've had an incredible journey. I cannot believe we've already ended our workshop week. Um, I'm dying to see what you make. So please do post in the Silver Silk Silkies Facebook group. Let me know how you got on with the project and what you overcame to construct it. We've had a couple Silkies that were having trouble with projects and posted about it. And then they posted their finished design and they were able to create their project. And I was just taken aback of like how they didn't give up. Um, they might have sought help from other silkies and some encouragement. And that's what we're here for. So um, I want to see what your journey is for this entire workshop. And my next project will be at the Great Beat Extravaganza. Um, the kit Mermaid's Lagoon, I believe is close to selling out if it hasn't already. Um, but you can definitely catch my tutorials on um, every other Tuesday. So I'll be back early um, early July to post my next tutorial and do a roundup, 
may or may not have my cowboy hat then. You'll just have to come in and find out. I was supposed to have it now, but I left it in the other room. So um, I'll just have to wear another time, I guess. And um, until then, I hope you guys stay creative and, and safe and well and good health. Um, I just want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Hopefully these projects have been inspiring you to create um, as much as it is for me to create them for you. Um, and I just want to say thank you for that. So here's to a beautiful workshop week. I did have a drink on the side, by the way. This is a Negroni, um, and I love bitter drinks. I don't know where it is. So cheers to you guys out there. Um, and this has been such a wonderful experience, and I cannot wait to come back to do another workshop with you guys. Truly love you. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you again at the next tutorial.